Hey guys, welcome back to more Fallout 4 Magnum Opus. Hopefully you're all doing very well. Last time I left off, we were doing the first questline, I believe, with the Brotherhood of Steel. That went incredibly well. We got this uh, very nifty weapon. I mean, look at that. We got a red laser gun and we got a shitload of ammo uh, in reserve to use it effectively. I'm absolutely delighted. In fact, we're going to open things off by popping into the weapon modification station and just seeing what we can do, if anything, to our current gun. If we could, that would be beautiful. Now, what is the name of this gun? Is it here? Righteous Authority. There we go. Let's see. What can we uh, do with that? Can we maybe add in a better capacitor, perhaps? I think we can. We can make these ones, but not the ones below. So to go with uh, this one, we would get a little bit more damage at the cost of ammo cap. What do we get there? We get a bit more range and a bit more weight. And for that one, we get a little bit more accuracy and a bit more weight. I'm going to go with the booster capacitor. I think we'll make that real quick. Beautiful. We have that on. Uh, can we make a longer barrel? Maybe we already have a long barrel, but do we want to make it? What a comfort barrel give me. A little bit of value, a little bit of weight. Not really going to do all that much to me. Anyway, though, while we're kind of uh, messing around with this, if you haven't already, be sure to hit the like and sub button. I mean a lot to me if you could do that. We also have a Patreon in the description below as well. Thank you. Got a full stock and get a heavy stock though. Again, value and weight, not what really what I want. Damage output is really going to be king here. I could go from the full stock to maybe a heavy grip only. But then again, we're going for a heavy grip. The accuracy is going to hurt and the damage increase is too negligible to really warrant that. So we're actually going to go down again. I don't know, maybe, maybe a scope. We can pull that off, can we? Even, like, uh, it doesn't even have to be anything insane. Honestly, sights, maybe red dot sights would be uh, absolutely fine. Accuracy goes up to 92 with this one, though, and the weight is not all that bad, you know? It's really not all that bad. I might go for the combat scope. Perfect. And uh, we'll test that out and see what it's like. What the hell can we even do with the junk jet, man? It's insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Range goes up significantly with the longer barrel. Now again, we kind of want to make things, so I don't think I, I don't really see myself using the junk jet like at all, really. I think as well with the um, yeah, with this one we're kind of fine with that. But then again, target bleed, exceptional damage. Look at that nonsense. That's beautiful. Kind of like Wolverine claws, man. I love it. Alright, cool. Well, Righteous Authority is looking a wee bit better. Let's go have a look at you. Yeah, no, not bad little scope there. Actually works out quite well. Now, we do have a lot of fog going on, and I kind of wanted to do a bit of building, or at the very least, a bit of clearing in good old, uh, good old Sanctuary. But before we do anything, I might even fast forward time a tiny bit just to clear out the fog. But before we do any of that, we need to go talk to Preston. We need to do the first step and talk to him a little bit more. If I can find out where he is, I have no idea where the man is. Where is he gone? Okay, it's time he's kind of... Oh, has he gone back out to the bridge? He's gone back out that way. So I saw him over here. He's walking that way, so I don't know how he got over here. I was only doing some very minor uh, weapon development. Oh, look at that, though. Everyone's at the, um, everyone's at the entrance. Oh, beautiful. That's what I like to say. Deathlong conquered was bad news, huh, Mama? Hello? You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. That'll help. It's a big help. But once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. What do you take me for? Hell yeah, beyond ideal, and that is the first step complete. Right, so at the risk of... Well, I was going to say at the risk of getting hungry and thirsty, but we don't really need to worry about that. I'm just going to wait 19 hours in the uh, same area. We just need that fog gone. Or we'll stop it if the fog goes away naturally while we wait. It's not! We don't like that, man. We don't like that at all. Now, I think we do get attacked in the interim. Oh, I think we have rain. If we do get attacked in the interim, it should pull me out of this, I would hope. Uh, a little bit too dark. A little bit too dark. An extra hour to 7 a.m., please. A little bit too dark. I mean, yeah, no, we're in dawn, but 8 a.m., please. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. 
God raised for all. Right. So, our current problem at the moment is we have way too much crap. Way, way too much crap. And we also have the park that allows me to gain XP from doing a little bit of building, which I think is, you know, beyond the realm of phenomenal. I love it. Um, I don't think there's anything else for me to do here as of yet, unless we talk to Preston again, but we didn't get... Didn't really get a prompt to do that. So we're gonna go back in here and just see what we can do. And of course we also have, just in case they should be in here, uh, modifications, miscellaneous, I'll take game, settings. Could have sworn it was in here. The sim settlement, um, city manager, was that it? Yeah, okay. Now, is that sim settlements? Is that tied in? That could be tied in, right. Either way, we'll pop in here real quick. We'll do a little bit of building for the hell of it. See what the hell we can do. Okay, so we can see here food is a little bit down. Okay, it's gone back up to proper. Water is absolutely fine. We have no reliable power though. So could we get generators uh, created? Optional battery for solar generators, wire battery, the panel. Before snapping the battery into panel for easier wiring so we can make... Okay, so we can actually make uh, solar panels. Brilliant. Can we? No, we need science. Crap. We need science for the basic generators, but these ones, however, we can do. Then again, they're going to need to be fed with fuel, are they not? I feel like they will. Need to be kind of placed in a decent uh, locale, though, for it to make any... Uh, you know, to make it any... To, for it to make any sense, you know, aesthetically. Or we could go for wind power. We do have that power to do that as well. Uh, wind power, yeah, we could kind of put those... Couldn't we put those kind of like along the, um... Along the shoreline, kind of. That's going into the water blatantly. There's Preston, we'll leave him be. So what if I were to do that, right? Now, is that currently... Uh, was the space to go down? No. Okay, we'll put that down. Perfect. So we can't get like one or two of these here. That'd be absolutely perfect. Now I need to think about wiring. So space to attach a wire. Right. Now the wiring I imagine is going to be incredibly straightforward. Did it really have to rain, by the way? Oh man. So if I hit space, now we have wiring. Aha. Now again, the turrets, for whatever reason, they're fine, aren't they? Yeah, they're fine. They don't need any type of electricity. But yeah, for the hell of it, we'll just kind of leave that there. Leave that there. All this fencing crap I want gone. It's eventually going to be uh, replaced anyway with um, proper fencing, I think. Oh, we have like a good little gate there, actually. So if we pop into... Uh, let's see. Up the structures. Can we get like wood? Yeah. Can we get like miscellaneous? Something like here? Balcony railings. It's really not gonna do me. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Castle in the sky, I like that. It's pretty good. I like that a lot. Warehouse, burn, vault, scaffolding, fences. There we go, that's what we wanted. Even like a wire fence, because that kind of makes a lot more, uh, you know, a lot more sense for a farm kind of a situation. So, take all these out. We'll take the uh, wood. Uh, no, this that we can actually take. Can't take any of the bushes. Not a bother. So we can kind of go with uh, a straight fence. Uh, do we have like a gated fence at all? No, but it's fine because all that really means is we need to leave a gap. Right? Leave the gap, we're fine. So I'm gonna put you here. Alright, yeah. Put you there. I can get you to snap. No, but you know what, man? That's fine. So that means we can get like a nice little area here. Look at that, we are getting XP for doing that. That's kind of mental. Love it. That here. Uh, that's going to kind of clip the tree, though. I want that tree gone. It's a dead tree anyway. It's not really going to, you know. It's not really going to do much for me, is it? And put that one like kind of like here, maybe. Can we, can we get a snap, perhaps? I uh, can go over here, though. A little bit awkward, not gonna lie. Seem to actually get uh, somewhat good at this, but we can kind of put like a fence here that kind of 
Ups there. Ups here. Yeah, there we go. We're kind of making it work. Kind of. Once we know a more kind of efficient way to build. Tell you what, man. I will not know what to do with myself. I'll be all over it. And the crookedness kind of fits, uh, I don't know, kind of fits the right, you know, the right kind of, the right kind of tag aesthetic. Man, I don't know. We'll go with that. Let's see, pop here. God damn it, the tree. Get out of here, you. Actually, what we've done here, we've made a lot more room, I think. We've made a hell of a lot more room. That we can be uh, pretty proud of. Over here. Over here. And we do a nice little rotation to about here. And we have like a nice little entrance here. There we go, look at that. Now we have a crap ton more room. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Instead, trick over to that. Right then, so in terms of the defenses as well, having uh, turrets uh, strategically placed at high locations should make us feel fairly impe- it should make the place feel fairly impenetrable for the time being, depending now uh, what the raiders eventually decide to, you know, throw at us. In regards to, like, actually making brand new buildings, we do need to think about getting these areas uh, set up as well. That can go, that can go, that can go as well, that can all go. We need to, like, think about- oh, can we get this street lamp on? Actually, out of curiosity, if we, uh, hook that up to the power line, or to the gen. Is that a thing that we can do? Will the wire even go that far? Will this go in? Space to attach the wire? No, which leads me to believe that these uh, lampposts are essentially dead. Alright, so get rid of that. We'll actually start getting rid of these then. I thought they could be lit up at a later date. I was clearly unbelievably mistaken. And again, we're gonna get a lot of really good uh, resources out of that. Perfect. A really bad day for the fog. Alright, you're gone. Keep the sign. Lovely. I'm just gonna exit here. I want to see kind of talk to you again. Hey. There's something I need to ask you. I thought so. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minutemen. And now, well... It's just me. Oh, really? Okay. Let's see here. Well, as long as you don't give up. As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up. But I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen. But I think you can. Oh, really? So why can't you? Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Oh well, if you think so. But what makes you think I can actually pull that off? What makes you think I can do this? You saved us in Concord. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Can you explain what the Minutemen are all about? We're citizen soldiers. The people of the Commonwealth banding together to protect ourselves and decide our own future. That was the original idea, and it was a good one. The Minutemen fell apart because our leaders forgot what we were supposed to stand for. I think you're the one who can bring the Minutemen back and bring the whole Commonwealth together. Yeah, yeah, possible. I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it. Good, good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new start for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth too. Don't worry, I'll be right beside you all the way, General. So we made General pretty much right away. Hmm, not bad. That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minuteman has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. But one good thing about being the last Minuteman is 
And there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. Anything else? No. No, I don't think so. No, I think we're all good. How are you feeling? I'm glad to have the chance to return the favor. After all the help you gave me. I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. Oh, Go gosh. Get on your map. We'll find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. Oh, uh, you'll mark it on my map, huh? Appreciate that, buddy. Jesus, I appreciate that. All right, cool. We got that now to do. Nice little cookery station here. So let's see what we can do in regards to maybe building a nice little abode, a nice little house. Try and get these uh, plots somewhat filled up. Let's see what we can do with that. At the very least, it'll be nice to have uh, more space for people to, you know, call home. And so we're looking at structures. We're probably looking at... Yeah, probably metal for the time being. Nothing out of... Definitely nothing out of wood. Where can we go for prefabs? That probably won't do it for me. I'm just kind of looking for basic walling. That has to be the right kind of walling. What kind of walling do we have here? Like a kind of something like that maybe, but a little bit more straight. Kind of like that, yeah. I do need that now to... There we go. Would it be better if I kind of did it like this? If I could get kind of... Get like a bird's eye view, maybe. I must say, the uh, the camera can be a bit awkward, but if I can just kind of get this uh, aligned here. Kind of like that. There we go. Now we get some snapping. That's beyond ideal. Love it. Like, we get like a corner wall. Oh, whoops. I did not want that. Can we, uh, can we cancel? There we go. Cancel you as well. Uh, we're gonna scrap you. Don't, definitely don't need you. You're not doing it for me. No, we need a, we need a, we need a corner wall. Or even a front door. Front door area can be like right about, right about here. Won't look as, anywhere near as good as the uh, previous houses were, but you know what? It's fine. Ah, corner wall. Ooh, okay, that's not really doing it for me. Probably the way for that to work would be for me to scrap this wall here. Like, can we pull off the corner wall now? Somewhat. Yeah, kind of. A little bit. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Alright, so get rid of you. Why don't you scrap you again? Go back in for the door. But I think there was one kind of like a more rectangular door situation. Yeah, kind of like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, fuck it, that'll do. That'll do me uh, quite nicely. I'd be a little bit off kilter. I am trying to keep it in line with the original foundations, essentially as as much as I can. Also, want to make sure the walls, kind of at the very least, you know, match. Now you could say we're just making a square shack for the time being, but it's kind of good to get the outline. I right, once you get the outline, then you can um, really that won't snap there. You can. Uh, Deal with the rooms then. I need a new corner wall. There we go, there's my corner, but for that though, that'll have to go. Give me my corner wall. Alright, beautiful. Well, oh my goddamn, I do believe we're making this work. I do believe we're making this work incredibly well. And another corner here, if we can pull that off. Which we can, to a plum. Lovely. Need a new corner here, though. Give me that snap. Now, if we've done this correctly, and I believe we have done this incredibly correctly, we should get, like, a nice, clean, as we are, a nice, clean, lovely fitting right here. Look at that. We got ourselves a shell. My god, how I love a shell, right? So we'll kind of make some uh, basic rooming. Can we do interior walls, maybe? No, but we can do ceilings. Um, so hang up, we can get like a ceiling kind of up here. Oh, for the love of god, on the inside, man. On the inside! 
These are rotated the wrong way, are they not? Oh, crap. They might be rotated the wrong way! Well, bollocks. <laughs> That's all I can say to that, really. Which means we're gonna get some uh, awkward snapping. Unless, can we get, like, the proper snap, like, within? Are they all rotated the wrong way? Nope, no, no, we have a, we have a proper rotation. There we go. Now we can snap here, yeah? Kind of. Ish. We can kind of make it work, I hope. There we go. You know what? God damn, there we go. There we go. Ugh, I was about to say, please, for the love of God, do not be off kilter. We can kind of, like, determine where, uh, stairs area should be but there we go we got it fucking beautiful and we're hopefully lightening our inventory the more we do this there we go 8 xp you love it not probably not in the corner area but we can kind of get something like this going on yeah in regards to kind of getting getting some basic um basic rooming set up See in here, this is actually looking pretty good for the time being. Maybe a lack of windows, but ah, uh, come on, it's the apocalypse. There's really nothing good to look at, at outside anyway. We're fine. Let's try and make like some basic uh, rooms, shall we? Kind of like here. Might not get a proper snap, but you know what? We can hopefully jerry rig it or jerry rig it to make it look good. And can we get ourselves that corner wall again? Is that a corner wall? I can't tell. No, we got a corner wall. All right. Motherfucker, man. <laughs> ah, shit. Can we, can we get the snap like right here? Game, work with me. I am... You have no idea how much I'm begging you right now. Actually, I just realized we'll need like a door. That, that would definitely help. We kind of have like... I don't know. It's a very small room, I'm not gonna lie, so we don't really necessarily need a corner wall if one of the walls is just gonna be the door anyway, so yeah. Put like another wall here, then we can put like a, a basic kind of doorway in here, right? And kind of, hopefully, possibly, it's gonna need to be kind of more square though. Kind of like that, yeah, but, you know, snappy. Is that going to be the best that we can do, like, right here? Do I have it? Not really, no, but it's going to have to do. So we kind of have, like, your basic uh, bedroom in here. Lovely. It could be a bedroom. Yeah, there we go. Then we can kind of uh, deal more with the other rooms as well as we kind of go. But we'll keep, we'll keep this area like a bedroom, so hang on. What if we were to just kind of fill out the rooms as we go? Get some furniture. There we go. Like a nice, lovely bed in here. Can we get like a nice bed, a good bed? A bed that requires cloth. We could even make uh, dormitories if uh, we wanted. Kind of like two beds here. So I can go up to uh, hopefully two more people. Again, it's going to be very rudimentary at the uh, beginning. We'll definitely come back to this uh, though, I think. That's looking pretty okay. Yeah? We got some decent XP out of that too, and we kind of have like uh, a very unbelievably basic roof. We'll have to like devise a stairwell as well to get up to the second floor. Maybe have like an elevated area, an elevated area for turrets would be kind of cool. Even though I think we have like more than enough turrets anyway. It's cool to see people kind of standing guard though. Uh, though I like that. So if we actually kind of exit out here, if we have people standing guard, they have no guns though, do they? I'd like to trade some items. Is this what he has, but what can we give him? So he already has a scrap handgun, but I feel like we can give him something... Something a bit better. We'll give him, uh, we'll give him the Institute pistol, shall we? So we'll give you what that. Radio sign off? It was something like... I just need to trade gear with you. What do you have? Scrap handgun as well, not ideal. So what if I were to give you... The fat man, no, not the fat man. Give you the defense rifle. Good afternoon. Now, I'm not sure how they're going to uh kind of handle this you know in regard to ammunition because right now they're probably not going to have any so if it can be a case where they kind of generate ammunition in a bullshit manner 
then we're gonna be we're gonna be eating well. I don't think there's anything for me to do here. As well, uh, wasn't there an ammunition workbench? That's only the weapons workbench. I thought there was an ammunition workbench over here. I don't think it'll matter though anyway. I think we need gun nut for that. Right, so. Current issue at the moment is to, of course, help some people out. We'll get rid of that custom area. Can we get rid of you real quick? Right click to get rid of you. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We need to go back to Cambridge anyway. We need to get our ass to Oberlin Station. We don't know about Oberlin Station, so we'll go to the College Square, then we'll make our way down. These people are good old helping hand, Minutemen style. That is a beautiful Kalashnikov. The AK-400. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want that. And the fact that it's within the game makes me incredibly excited. That could be a beautiful weapon. That could be beyond a beautiful weapon. I need that gun. Alright. Here we are. It is a beautiful evening. Now we'll start slowly but surely making our way down to Oberland. So Oberland Station is... Ah, oh, fuck. That's gonna hurt. Oh, okay, we jumped. Somehow saved my life. Fuck her, put a mine down. You're joking me. What the hell is, uh, Dark Meat found here? Oh, what do you got, buddy? Oh, we killed these people already. Yeah, I remember that. Didn't know they had a uh, mine down here. Oh, what? What do you found, boy? What, that? Ghoul? The ghoul bits? Oh, did you find this? Empty ammo box. I appreciate it, boy. Uh, defense pistol as well. Very basic. Just wanted to make sure I was going the right way, so it's gonna be that way. Perfect. Let's get the hell out of here. Never know who the hell's waking up. Uh, ghoul wise. That's why we can always have like a quick look in a couple of abandoned buildings as well. Like the subway. Can we go into the subway? Do I want to go into the subway is the more pertinent question. Let's go in. I have to imagine there'll only be, ever be uh, ghouls or um, radroaches in here. I doubt there'll be raiders. We'll see. I can't lie, I feel like I hear creepy crawlies anyway. Shit. Okay, I thought that one was getting up. Ah, oh, this one killed themselves. Oh, an M1911. Oh, that's a beauty. Probably 45. Yeah, if I had to guess. Let's take a quick look at you. If I can remember where the hell you are. Weaponry. There we go. M1911. 45, yeah. We got a lot of 45 ammo. Very lovely gun. Nice little uh, yellow dot sight, I guess. Oh, unlucky, buddy. Well, hey. Oh, submachine gun. If the 45 round is going to be plentiful, then this could be a gun that we use quite often. It's a clean, clean pistol as well. It's beautiful. That's a trap I've ever saw one. Hey, we got the spring in the gears. Sick. Obviously, uh, out in plain sight. Never gonna have a problem with that. Tell you what, though, we had a bit of a battle in here. What the hell happened? I have no idea. Let's take a look at that submachine gun that we picked up. A Thompson. Love it. 45 as well. Cool. Cool. Okay, we got a Protectron over there. Get that thing awake. Could really help us. Shit. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that thing's taking next to no damage. Oh, shit. Uh, headshots. Headshots are limb shots. Uh, I knew we'd be dealing with this bullshit. I knew it. Thankfully, though, we're good for stimmies. We're very good. Okay, how we looking? They're all dead. My goodness gracious me, would you look at all that carnage. 
Let's see if we've got any more notes to deal with. Oh my god. Right. First thing we should really think about though is getting this Protectron up and running. That's what I think. Can we even get in? Tell me we can get in. Of course we can't. Why would we be able to get in? Fuck. So that thing is not only locked behind a terminal, but a bloody locked door on top of that. Uh, maybe one of these guys had the key on them, maybe? Damn it all to hell and back. Yeah, oh, multi-food. Yeah. Is that a PA chime? Is there a PA system going? Oh yeah, there is. Oh, look at that. Alright, toilet. There's always a ghoul in a toilet, or at the very least you'd think there would be. Let's see what's in here though, real quick. Sweet. Hey, nice. I really only ever cared about the bobby pin anyway. Is there a baby ghoul? Skeleton in there, anyhow, but there could be a ghoul in here ready to jump out. Nope! Just a skelly with the hand in the toilet. Ah, uh, little, little toy. Oh, hello. Do you have the key? No? God, you've all been dead a while. Scrap handgun, yeah. If they died to the ghouls, they really had no chance whatsoever. They weren't using, uh, they weren't using God's Caliber. So that's their problem. Can't beat the old stopping power of a 45. Okay. Let's try and make our way down a little bit uh, deeper into the area. Ah, uh, no Nuka Cola. Oh, no, we have Nuka Cherry. That's gonna be like the worst one, though. Fucking Coke Cherry is awful. If you ever had Coke Cherry, you know exactly what I mean. Ah, shit. No, little Timmy! Shit. Dog me, kill, kill fucking Timmy! Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Why do there have to be kids? Are we still in combat? I think we're good down here. We're good down here? I think we are. Ding dong. Oh, Protectrons. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, let's think we do this real quick. This should definitely help. I gotta get you. Get rid of some deads real quick. There we go. Lovely. No! Didn't want that one. Dutch removed. Come on, give me more. Give me more. Wait, do we have one here? Yes, we do. Hell yeah. And we got another one there. I'm starting to identify them now a little bit more quickly. I thought your tier would be it. No? No? Okay. Put down here, though. There we go. Dead removed. All right, so we got one. We still got quite a lot left, though. Might not be. Might not be enough. Oh, another dead removed. There we go. Yeah, they're kind of inside of each other as well. So yeah, there are some that are kind of like weirdly hidden, if that kind of makes sense. So. Oh, okay. We got it right the first time. Fuck yeah. That's what I like to see. Protectron control. Choose personality mode. So we sure no law enforcement, right? That's not what you want. Just in case. Then we'll, um... No, no. I don't want to fault. Law enforcement. Then we wake him up. Powering up. Protectron on duty. There we go. Let's hope this guy gets the job done. Now we're going to put a, a bit of a cut in here, and when we come back... We're going to see if we can help out this uh, Protectron with clearing out the station. Hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. Absolutely love playing this game. Can't wait to play a hell of a lot more, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>